orbiting. It seems to be the hard first challenge of anyone starting off with KSP. And so today, I'm going to show you how uh, to orbit a little bit. So here we go in KSP, turning our SAS on, turning our throttle up. We're going to use the exact same um, rocket from our first tutorial. This is our second one of three. And so we're going to take our rocket up uh, and hopefully get a nice orbit. Now there's a few things we have to note about orbits. First of all, we have to be out of the atmosphere. If we're in the atmosphere, the drag of the air will slow us down. So we have to be above 35 kilometers or 35,000 meters. Um, and so once we're out of that range, we can, we can actually actually have the orbit. So if we have an orbit at uh, 25 kilometers, the drag of the Earth will slow us, or the air in the Earth will slow us down and will fall back down. Um, so we have to get above that height. The other thing is the force of the gravity uh, is actually what's going to keep us going. And so we're going to try to travel at a horizontal uh, direction so that as we're falling towards um, the Earth, that uh, those two forces kind of balance out and we actually kind of miss it. We keep missing it and so we keep falling at this angle that keeps spinning. Um, and so our, our kind of our outward momentum is pulling us out and our gravity is pulling us in and so we're kind of balanced out. Um, so here we're a little, we're a little crooked um, but it's okay because we actually have to start leaning the rocket over very shortly um, because if we were to go up to our target um, height and then to start to um, then to start to lean over, we would have so much momentum um, going straight up that it would just make a mess of things. And so our target is between 50 kilometers and 75 kilometers, which is kind of a challenge. Um, it's a little easier to get higher, just because you you just have more time, and you can just say, "Okay, we're going to go higher, and we're going to be farther away from the atmosphere." Um, here, we actually have to turn inside the atmosphere, but uh, it's a faster rotation, so we do more. Um, we we do more revolutions per per hour, and so we're going to try to make that. Um, here, we're at 20 kilometers. Uh, we still have a little fuel left. We remember we still have to get out of uh, um, 35 kilometers. And so here we're just kind of adjusting it. I'm turning off the SAS and then turning it back on again. We're just trying to start edging the, the ship over. Um, and that's just going to give us that, that angle that we need um, to begin to uh, get where we need to go. And so here's our next stage. And we're going to start really pointing this thing over. We're at, uh, we're at high enough now. Uh, we'll still continue to go up quite a bit, but we're going to try to get our ship into a good angle. So here we're at 45,000 uh, kilometers. So this will be hopefully close to our perigee, um, and then hopefully our apogee will be close to 75 kilometers. Um, but our little our direction right here, this is the direction we're heading. heading. We're still heading slightly up, which is fine. We want to head slightly up. Um, but our big thing right now is we need to... Ooh, losing my ship. Here, come back. There we go. Uh, we need to be able to get um, this number up to around 22 or 2.2 kilometers uh, and 22.3 kilometers. Between that, 2,300 kilometers or 2,300 meters per second. Sorry, I'm used to the uh, not used to the metric system. Um, and so here we're getting close, um, and we're getting pretty. This is getting pretty good. Um, and so we're getting up to our target speed. Our little yellow circle is getting pretty close. You can see we're still rising up a little bit, which is fine. And so here we are, and we're going to slow it down just because we're going up still. And this will hopefully get us around. And uh, depending on where we're at, our perigee or apogee, um, we can actually accelerate and decelerate. Um, so when we're apogee, we can actually slow down just a tiny bit. Um, where our perigee, we can speed up just a tiny bit or excuse me, switch that around, but anyways, um, I forget. I think you have to slow down at your perigee when you're going the fastest and speed up at your apogee. Um, you can speed up at any point, but um, the point is you just want to keep within ranges. And so here we are. We're going to head up to our apogee and see if we made um, did a very good job. It looks like we might, yeah, we'll go over our apogee target. 
a little bit, but that's fine. Um, those are the two big terms you need to know is apogee and perigee. Apogee is when you are going the slowest and you're the highest. The perigee is when you're the fastest and going the lowest. And basically, you just kind of this elliptical thing, and it, those two numbers kind of swap, swap off as you go down more you speed up which makes you speed or which makes you want to go higher when you go higher that going up slows you down etc cetera, etc cetera. so we have a uh, not too shabby we're not too shabby i like it i'm i'm pretty proud of it and so uh, we'll go on and i could fix this if i want to um, but in fact we're actually going to um, bail out of this pretty quick for the sake of this video and so i'm going to spin our ship around this is actually a direction i rarely spin i usually spin end over end instead of like that, but that's all right. And simply to get out of our um, our orbit, we're just going to do a retro burn, and so we're actually heading towards uh, the flame. We're going backward, and we're just decelerating. And what this is going to do is um, our outward force isn't going to match our gravity anymore, and so we're going to be just slowly pulled at a nice angle into the um, the Earth. We're going to hit the atmosphere, and it's going to put us to a dead stop, and we're going to go straight down and uh, it'll be pretty good. Um, and you probably want to let this run for about uh, an hour to 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, if you do that, you could probably get two good revolutions. Um, just put it in a good orbit, go eat some supper or something, come back. Um, one orbit of the Kurth is um, 3,770 kilometers. So when you see your ground distance covered, if it's not above that, you actually haven't orbited a whole circle. So you need 3,770 kilometers. Once you do that, that's an orbit. Um, you see we're heading downwards. We're slowing down. Well, actually, we're speeding up. We're going towards the Earth, But we're going slow enough that we'll never make an orbit. And I'll um, put my... Um, put our, uh, our parachute down so that we can, uh, I don't have to worry about forgetting to do that. And uh, there we go. That was uh, a trajectory of an orbit. And hopefully you guys can make your own ships, figure out your orbit, practice it out. It doesn't happen the first time. And sometimes even when you're an expert, it still doesn't happen. I um, wouldn't quite call myself an expert. But uh, even if you've done it a few times, it still can be challenging at times. And so... Uh, have fun orbiting. Next time, we're actually going to take this up a notch, and we're going to take a satellite up and orbit that. All right, so get, join us for the third part of this.